All right, you guys, here we go. Jerry with a G, Rafferty. I am not familiar, so this is a a blind reaction, first time reaction. Let's go. Mm. I like that vibe. What is going down, world? Welcome to the 40-year-old FUQ Boys podcast. I go by the name Black Pegasus, and we're back at it. Um, I'm checking out Jerry Rafferty, Baker Street. I forgot where I got this name from. I read comments. I Bro, my Facebook messages is so swamped, I don't even want to go through it. <laughs> but I randomly check messages. I read comments. And that's how I find some of these reactions. Um, and this one came on my radar. And what's crazy about this is, uh, let me look, man. The, the, this one's kind of a big one, right? Yeah, 28 million views. Um, uh, it's just interesting because I've never heard of Jerry Rafferty. Sometimes I'll do a first-time reaction. I've heard someone's name like Billy Idol or like uh, Iron Maiden or, you know, Billy Joel, stuff like that. You're like, yeah, yeah, I've heard that name, but I've never heard the name Jerry Rafferty. So this is kind of uh, going to be interesting. So before we get started, you guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let's get it going. 40. 40-year-old 40 what, what? boys are back in town. 40. Boys are back in town. 40-year-old what? boys what? are back in town. What? What? For your ears. 40. All right, y'all, let me get this logo down, pull the video up. Uh, don't forget, support the original content on the channel. Just dropped a music video with uh, Anthony Ray and Andy Rue called Never Met. And then I'm working on my Ren Money Game retake. And uh, what else? Mind, Body, and Soul. That's some lyrical miracle. But anyways, check out the original stuff. I am working on other things like vlogs. And uh, we want to do like a little competition game show thingy. So when you check out the original content, it allows us to produce more of it. And then we'll probably actually eventually have a, a channel for just the original stuff. But, uh, yeah, man, and shout out to all the members on the channel, man. You guys don't understand how much your support means to me. And that extra support goes a long way. So I wanted to thank you guys at the beginning of these videos. And if you want to become a member, the link is in the description. Again, there's no obligation. But, yeah, I just want to give you all a little bit of love, man. I appreciate y'all. All right, let's get it, man. This is Jerry Rafferty, uh, Baker Street. Baker Street. All right, here we go. Sounds like a flute in there. Mm. I like this vibe so far. Maybe it's the keyboard playing those sounds. Hey. Okay. That saxophone. Lighting your head and dead on your feet well another crazy day you drink the night away and forget about everything this city desert makes you feel so cold it's got so many people but it's got no soul and it's taking you so long to find out you were wrong when you thought it held everything you used to think Okay, I like, okay, 
So I just did an Etta James reaction, okay? So, you know, the vocal performance from Etta James and Janis Joplin and even I think we just did a Billy Joel reaction. This brother's voice is super laid back, right? There's not this crazy projection of his voice, but he sounds great. But what I'm into is the story he's telling. Baker Street. I don't know where Baker Street is. I don't know if it's in America, if it's in Europe. I don't know if it's in Thailand. But the story he's telling that I'm visualizing is a young lady, you know, probably came from like somewhere rural and thought all her answers were on Baker Street, which is probably some type of business sector uh, in a city. And she's working or doing whatever she's doing, and it's just rough. And the city isn't what she thought it would be. And, you know, the rat race of the city tears you down, and she's crying. And if just one more year, one more year. Now, I don't know. I stopped it in the middle. I don't know where the story goes. Is it one more year till she gets a promotion, one more year till this happens, or is it just that one more year thing we all do, right? We all do it. We all have one more year, and it'll all work out. But I think what I'm getting from this song so far, it's about the rat race of the city. That's what it's about. That's what I'm getting from it. So if I'm wrong, you guys let me know. I mean, it's all interpretation. That's from my first take from listening to it. Now, I think the band is crazy. Like, they have all these elements. The sax always just sounds so sexy, doesn't it? Um, oh, man. This is, this is, I like this. This is, this is kind of jazzy. Would you consider this like a jazz, a little bit of a jazzy song? Like, I don't know. But it is jazzy. You put that sax in it. Anyways, let's go. Jerry Rafferty, Baker Street. The rat race of the city, yo. Uh huh. That's what he's talking about. Almost how it like just keeps you there too. Okay. That's probably one of my favorite parts that on the sax Baker Street yeah I wonder where that's at that was tight that was dope I like that track um that didn't hit me like some of the joints I react to that's I'm not like yo this is in my playlist like blah 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 but I respect it and I enjoyed it and it was really good I mean it's like the dude's voice the way he sold me the story with his voice, he has a really smooth voice, right? And that's why it gave me that jazz feel like I'm just like in a lounge, you know, like a cigar lounge or a little jazz lounge and just kind of like, mm -hmm, yeah, this is what I need for that moment. And I enjoyed that. But I, what I liked the best was the storytelling, the storytelling. And you guys got to let me know if I got that. I guess sometimes there's no right or wrong with interpretation, but it just sounded like, 
Baker Street represents, it's almost like Wall Street, right? But it, it represents the business sector of a, of a city and how it sucks you in, pause, and how a lot of people get trapped there and they have these dreams. It's kind of funny, right? Because you come from a, a little town, right? A rural town and you're like, I got to get to the city to make it. What is making it? But I got to get to the city to make it. And then you end up in the city for a decade and you're like, I got to get the F out of here. This is crazy, right? And vice versa, man, I've lived in the city my whole life. I just want to retire on a little plot of land and just, because the city, man, is, I, I remember this because my dad's from Manhattan. We used to, when we, I remember specifically going back to move my grandmother from uh, New York to California because that's where uh, 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 she ended up, my dad's sister and grandma. And uh, I just remember there was a lot of hostility in it, the fast pace of New York. And I remember I almost got hit by a car, like people. And, and when it, it's just crazy, I just remember, like I was innocent, and maybe I was in the wrong. I don't remember. I just remember getting cursed out after I almost got hit by a car and legitimately murked. And I was probably only like three or four years old, you know. So, uh, and now I'll take accountability. You know, you're supposed to listen to your parents. You ain't supposed to be in the street. But I do remember that. It's funny how you just have these little memories from being three or four and, that you know, like just little blurs. But that was one thing that startled me for life. I remember someone legitimately cursing me out because they almost hit me with their car in New York. And I was like, I mean, to this day, I remember it. I'm 43 years old and it happened when I was three or four. So think about that. So, yeah, uh, I get it, man. The city is something else. You got to be built for the city, man. I've lived in some cities, but just not that long, man, because, you know, you know, yeah, I live in Colorado Springs. It's a city, but it ain't like Denver. It ain't like New York. It ain't like L.A. I don't want to live in a city, bro. I'll keep it real. I'm trying to get more rural than I am now. Anyways, I like that. And, and that's what the messaging and the story got me thinking of what I'm talking about. And that's real. So anyways, Jerry Rafferty, first time reaction. Let me know what I got, what I missed does he have some other bangers out there that we should check out on the channel? Let me know if you guys show up for this one. You know, I'll uh, uh, go into the uh, into the archives and, and, and pick them out. Anyways, like, share, comment, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Fody. Thank you for being some man. 40 years down the road back again. F U Q boys. 40. Cheese.